Hi, welcome to another lecture of the course Digital Signal Processing. In the previous lecture, we had seen the concept of inverse Z transform and also began the discussion regarding the method of partial fractions in order to find inverse Z transform. Let us consider an example for this method. Let the expression for the Z transform be given as X of Z is equal to 3Z square plus 2Z plus 1 divided by z square minus 3z plus 2. So let's start. The first step in this method is factorization of denominator. Now we need to factorize the denominator in the smallest possible factors. Therefore, in this case, we have x of z is equal to 3z square plus 2z plus 1 whole divided by the factors of this denominator are z minus 1 into z minus 2. Let's move on to the second step in which we need to divide LHS and RHS by Z. Therefore, what we get is X of Z upon Z is equal to 3Z square plus 2Z plus 1 whole divided by Z into Z minus 1 into Z minus 2. The third step includes decomposition of x of z divided by z into its partial fractions. And for that we have x of z upon z is equal to 3z square plus 2z plus 1 upon z into z minus 1 into z minus 2 which is equal to a upon z plus b upon z minus 1 plus c upon z minus 2. Let us simplify this term and equate it to this left hand side. Therefore, we have 3z square plus 2z plus 1 is equal to a into z minus 1 into z minus 2 plus b into z into z minus 2 plus c into z into z minus 1. Now we need to find what are the values of this a, b and c. For that initially let z equal to 0. Therefore the left hand side of this equation 2, let us name this as 1. The left hand side of this equation 2 becomes 1 which is equal to the first term is 0 uh, sorry a into minus 1 into minus 2 this term becomes 0 b into 0 that is 0 and this c into 0 is also 0 therefore the value of a is equal to 1 by 2 let's mark it Now in the second case let z equal to 1 therefore what we have is on the LHS it's 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is equal to 6 and on the RHS we have a into 0 that is 1 minus 1 will become 0 this second term will persist and rest everything will be equal to 0 therefore we have b into 1 into minus 1 
which implies that the value, value of b is minus 6. And the third case let z equal to 2 in that case this LHS becomes 3 into 4 plus 2 into 2 plus 1 that is 17 which is equal to now in this case only this c into z into z minus 1 term will persist and rest everything will be 0 so we have c into 2 into 2 minus 1 that is 1 which implies that the value of c is equal to 17 by 2 So from the previous discussion, we have a equal to 1 by 2, b equal to minus 6 and c equal to 17 by 2. Now the step 4 of this method is we need to find the value of x of z. Now we have this x of z upon z is equal to a upon z plus b upon z minus 1 plus c upon z minus 2. Let's write that first. So we have x of z upon z is equal to a upon z that is 1 by 2 into 1 by z plus b into z 1 upon z minus 1. So we have minus 6 into 1 upon z minus 1 and c into that is 17 by 2 into 1 upon z minus 2. Therefore, if we multiply this z to the RHS, we have the value of z transform x of z is equal to 1 by 2 minus 6 into z upon z minus 1 plus 17 in upon 2 into z upon z minus 2. And the final step that is step 5 is find inverse. Now if we look at these two terms we know that all these three terms are in the standard format. This is a constant and these two terms are of the form z upon z minus a. Now we have know that z upon z minus a is the z transform for two cases that is a to the power n into u of n and the second is the minus a to the power n into u of minus n minus 1 and these two things differ only in the region of convergence and the inverse z for a constant is that constant scaled by the unit impulse. Therefore in this case we need to specify what is the region of convergence and in this case we have three cases of region of convergence the first one is mod of z greater than 2 the second one is mod of z less than 1 and the third case is mod of z greater than 1 and mod of z less than 2 let us see these cases one by one so the case 1 is mod of z greater than 1 by 2. In this case, the ROC will be exterior to the circle of radius 2 in this way. Now, since mod of z is greater than, one, uh, greater than 2, therefore it is greater than 1 as well as greater than 2. So this follows our first case, this one where our a varies as 1 and 2 the inverse z of this constant is nothing but the constant scaled by the unit impulse the inverse z of this z upon z minus 1 for the region of convergence mod of z greater than 1 will be equal to 
1 that is a to the power n into u of n and the inverse z for this will be equal to a to the power n that is 2 to the power n into u of n. Therefore, the value of inverse z for the considered region of convergence will be equal to 1 by 2 into del n minus 6 into 1 to the power n into u of n plus 17 by 2 into 2 to the power n into u of n. Let's look at the second case. In this, the region of convergence is less is mod of z less than 1 which means it is interior to the circle of radius 1. Therefore, in this case, mod of z is less than 1 and subsequently it is less than 2 also. So, both these cases are the one as this, the second one. So, here the inverse z is of the form minus of a to the power n into u of minus n minus 1. So, let us solve this. The inverse z of this constant will be a unit impulse scaled by the constant itself. The inverse z for this term will be minus of a to the power n that is 1 to the power n into u of minus n minus 1 and similarly for this it will be minus of 2 to the power n into u of minus n minus 1. Therefore, the value of x of n for this region of convergence will be 1 by 2 into del of n plus 6 into 1 to the power n into u of minus n minus 1 minus 17 by 2 into 2 to the power n into u of minus n minus 1. And the last case for the region of convergence is the mod of z is greater than 1 but it is less than 2. So, this is, it is this annular ring region. So, let us try finding the z transform for inverse z for this. So, we have mod of z greater than 1 but mod of z less than 2. So, for this the constant will be 1 by 2 into del of n. Now, for this this mod of the region of convergence is exterior to the circle. So, it is our first case which is of the form a to the power n into u of n. Therefore, its inverse z can be calculated as 1 to the power n into u of n and this is of the form minus of a to the power n into u of minus n minus 1. So, the inverse z of this term is minus of 2 to the power n into u of minus n minus 1. Therefore, the inverse z is calculated as 1 by 2 into del n minus 6 into 1 to the power n into u of n minus 17 by 2 into 2 to the power n into u of minus n minus 1. So, in this lecture we have seen an example of how to find the inverse z transform using partial fractions method. We have seen that in order to find the inverse z for by using mere observation, we need the region of convergence and for various cases of region of convergence, we get different equations of the time domain. Let us stop here. Thank you.